Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Show, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. We use the same channel for both locations, here in Daytona and in our uh, PA location. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Uh, we install and sell automotive parts and accessories uh, all over the United States. So if you're looking for something for your muscle car, for your truck, for your Jeep, please visit hankstersgarage.com. Also, we install them. So if you're watching one of our video presentations, you want four-wheel disc brakes, you want power steering, you want vintage air, you want a digital dash, we can do all of that prior to your vehicle shipping as long as you give us the time to do so. We have many of those components in stock. Again, hankstersgarage.com. It's about four miles from our showroom here in Daytona Beach. Great car to present to you today. Um, it is what we call in the uh, classic car business, collector car hobby, a survivor car. Um, it is not a restoration. Uh, it's 100% original sheet metal. It is uh, mostly original paint. Uh, I don't know if every last inch of the car is, is uh, original paint, but it's the original color, it's the original motor, it has the original core support. So uh, let's get started. We are talking about a 1969 Plymouth GTX 440 car. Uh, it does have the fender tag, so you can break that down. Uh, it does not have power brakes. It does have power steering. Right in the way of power steering is the AC. It is a factory AC car. Now the AC does not work in the vehicle, but it is uh, the original, you know, it, it came originally equipped from the factory with air conditioning. The uh, stamping on the core support, 3386, the last four of the VIN, it is the original core support on the car. Let's check the car. Black in color. Uh, again, I mentioned to you that this car is original paint. So for those of you out there that are looking for a uh, you know rotisserie restoration, frame off restoration, anything of that nature, this is not your car. Uh, this car is a survivor car. This is for those collectors and enthusiasts looking for originality. Um, so <clears throat> the paint on the hood. Uh, you know, black, obviously, tops of the fenders, same deal. Uh, you can see little tiny chips, nicks throughout the paint on the car. Um, turn signal indicators at the top of the fenders, they do both work, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. By the way, this is probably the best running car we have in the building. This car runs absolutely fantastic, like a brand new car, and we'll show you that later on in the test drive presentation. Uh, chrome on the front bumper is in real nice shape. Not sure if the front and rear bumpers are original or not, but uh, the integrity of the, uh, the chrome is definitely there. Uh, they are, you can tell they're not brand new, but you can also, um, you know, there's no rusting or pitting around the uh, bumper bolts. There's no flaking of the chrome or pitting of the chrome, so that's uh, pretty nice. <clears throat> The grill is original to the car. You can see there's uh, some areas of wear on either side there. Uh, the GTX logo in the uh, center of the grill is in, in good shape. You have your Plymouth up here on the uh, front nose of the hood. Good looking car, uh, the black on black. Let's uh, take a look at the driver's front fender. The wheel opening moldings in nice shape. Uh, again, the uh, the paint on the car. Uh, there's a couple uh, nicks there on the front fender. Uh, overall, the chrome on the wheels are in pretty good shape. Uh, they're not perfect. I think the uh, driver's side here. Uh, front looks to be in pretty good shape. Little tiny bit of corrosion around the uh, valve stem there. Uh, the Cooper Cobras are brand new. We put those on there. Uh, those, uh, you know, the tires when we were aged, so we needed to put new ones on, so we did. 
Uh, so those are brand new. Uh, window glass up front here uh, in pretty good shape. You can see there's uh, no uh, cracks or chips. Well, hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> we will also show you the uh, windshield. Obviously, when we're on a test drive looking out of the car. Uh, it's got the correct uh, Mopar rivets. We will have a uh, picture of the Vintag on the website. Uh, one mirror located on the driver's side door. Uh, your vent window glass, uh, door window glass, and quarter window glass, they all look to be in real good shape. The body lines on this car are fantastic, about as good as it gets. Uh, like I said, to the best of my knowledge, this car is all 100% sheet metal, uh, both floors, fenders, quarters, everything like that. Um, there's nothing I can see that, that has been replaced. Uh, your door fitment's fantastic. Uh, to the lower rocker, to the rear quarter, to the front fender. Again, really nice body lines on the car. Your drip rail moldings are uh, crimped properly. Uh, they look nice. No uh, patina, no wear, no uh, dents for people putting them on with a hammer. <clears throat> Take a look in the car. Uh, so your door panel, um, you know, up top here is painted. You can see at the top of the driver's door there's some wear. Again, this is a survivor car. This is not a restoration vehicle. Uh, in the center you have your vinyl uh, wood grain there and then the uh, vinyl at the bottom and around the uh, window crank, which obviously is manual windows. Uh, armrest vinyl also in pretty decent condition. <clears throat> Put the uh, seat forward here. Take a look in the back seat. Uh, seat belts back there. The dome light does illuminate when you open up the driver door. Uh, we did put new carpeting in the vehicle. Uh, so the carpet is new. Uh, the carpet that was in it was, you know, it showed its age. So we put some new carpeting in here. Uh, the uh, driver's seat, uh, passenger seat, that uh, flip down armrest there, we did not do anything to it. Um, you know, this is how we bought the car. This is how the uh, interior presented itself, which is pretty nice. It does have the original 8-track player in the dash, and it does work. We'll show you that on the test drive. The uh, steering wheel does have a, a crack at the top. It is a column shift vehicle. Automatic. Uh, again, the carpeting brand new underneath the uh, driver's side there. <clears throat> Uh, the car does come with a new headliner. There is a small hole on the passenger side of the vehicle um, that we will show you when we're actually in the interior of the car. Uh, your dash clarity is real nice. Everything, well, the fuel gauge works, uh, speedo works. We do have some aftermarket gauges down there uh, low. Your map light's coming on. See that there over above the glove compartment when I open the uh, driver door? We'll take a better look at the interior when we're on a test drive. Um, so the rear wheel on the uh, passenger side looks to be in pretty decent shape as well. You know, check out the still photos of the wheels. Um, again, the raised white letter Coopers are brand new. Uh, the uh, rear quarter, nice and straight, no waves. Uh, paint presents itself pretty nicely on the uh, rear quarter. <coughs> Little chip right there. Uh, window clarity in the, on, on the rear windshield, I guess, uh, it is real, real nice. You can see that there's uh, very, very minimal scratching there. All your chrome around the rear window is in pretty nice shape. Uh, you have a, now that's your hat rack, obviously, with your speaker grill. You can see uh, the passenger side speaker grill there collapsed in a little bit on the back. But overall, in real nice condition for being probably what is original from 1969. Big quarters mean big deck lid. Um, so the deck lid fits nicely, not only uh, flush to the rear quarters, but also uh, your gaps are pretty uniform there for being such a, such a big deck lid. So you do have some brush touching going on over here. Again, this is not a restoration piece. 
Those of you familiar with Mopar products, the Roadrunners and the GTXs, you know that the chrome does patina around the rear tail lights and in the rear valance on your deck lid, and this one is patinaed. What is probably original from 1969 around the rear brake lights and on the deck lid. Chrome on the rear bumper, uh, again, my uh, best guess, well, the uh, rear bumper on this one is brand new. You can just tell by looking at it. Uh, so there is a brand new bumper on there. Uh, reverse lights down low. Uh, rear bumper definitely a lot newer looking than the front bumper. You have some brush touches going on here on the deck lid as well. <clears throat> Let's take a look in the trunk. Look at that uh, spare. Bias ply. So, uh, you know, if you plan on using that spare, you might want to put a radial on there. That bias ply is probably original to the car. Uh, does have a jack, does have a uh, little breaker bar there. Uh, trunk mat. The uh, trunk is in excellent condition. No rust holes, no rod holes. Uh, your uh, trunk molding there is in pretty nice shape. Passenger side. Take a good look at the body lines on this car. Again, you have a very large rear quarter. You have a very large uh, pa driver and passenger side door. Obviously, front fender, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long car. GTX is a long car. Body lines are really, really nice. Uh, no waves down the quarter, down the passenger door, uh, down the front fender. It's, it's a real, real nice uh, metal on this car. All the chrome on your wheel opening moldings are in pretty decent condition. Uh, take a look at those, again, in the still photos. Uh, nice GTX logo there on the uh, rear quarter on the passenger side, just as it was on the driver's side. The car just has such a sharp look to it with the uh, black black, with the chrome wheels and the raised white letter tires. And uh, the structural integrity that this car has is uh, really something to uh, marvel about, for sure. Um, the Passenger side door, again, I can't stress to you enough, they're only original ones. The body lines on this car are really nice. There's no Chinese doors on here. Uh, there's no uh, subpar body work. There's no, uh, you know, uh, mud fillers. It's, it's really, really a, a, a nice uh, structural, uh, structurally in, structural integrity on this vehicle, originality on this vehicle. Very cool piece of, uh, you know, history from 1969. Your door panel on the passenger side, about the same as drivers, you know, a little bit of wear up here. You know, if you wanted to paint that, that would be up to you, but this is uh, pretty much original. I mean, it may have been painted at one time in its life, but, uh, you know, definitely uh, shows some age. Again, your uh, wood grain there on the center of the door panel, the uh, vinyl's real nice. Uh, same thing lower there on the door panel. I'm going to show you uh, something else that's going to come with this car, the original build sheet. So we will have a photo of the original build sheet online uh, to this car. The, uh, uh, let me move that for you, the passenger seat. Uh, not only is the vinyl nice, but it's also, uh, you know, cushions not all worn out when you sit down in this thing. You aren't sitting on the springs. Uh, glove compartment area is real nice. Uh, you get a closer look at that map light there when you open up the uh, door on the passenger side, same as the driver. Again, the dome light illuminates. Uh, carpeting in the car is brand new. Front and rear seat belts. Uh, how about the passenger side front fender? Looks good. You know, we don't have any uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything going on down low. So that's a, a good thing. Again, this car is nice and solid. This is a very well-preserved piece of uh, history. Again, the, the, uh, <laughs> the way this car drives and rides, you'd be uh, amazed. And uh, you can tell when a car hasn't, it, it hasn't been molested, taken apart, uh, and dis disassembled, reassembled over the years. Uh, this car runs down the road, like literally almost like a brand new car, which uh, 
in our line of work, it tells you something about the way that this car's been maintained throughout its lifetime with the, with the way that it rides, the way that it handles, the way that it sounds when you're in it. Uh, it really tells you a lot about how the vehicle was uh, preserved and maintained. I started the video presentation by telling you that this car is a survivor car, you know, so it's far from perfect. Um, I pointed out to you in a quick seven or eight minute walk around presentation some of the flaws that I think you might want to see if you were not visiting us in person. Uh, but I do encourage you guys to visit our showroom in person. Uh, we just remodeled our showroom here in Daytona. Uh, it is open for business and we would love to have you uh, up or down wherever you might be coming from in the United States. If you're interested in our 69 GTX, we'll show it to you in person. We'll let you uh, look at it outside in the sunshine. We'll put it on the rack for you. We'll let you check out the undercarriage. We'll let you drive it. You'd love driving this one. <clears throat> We're going to do that here in just a little bit. But, uh, you know, we do a lot of sight unseen business. Our company model is internet based, which means we sell the majority of our vehicles sight unseen. For 20 plus years, people have been bringing us cash, cashier's checks, and uh, wiring us funds uh, without ever looking at the vehicle. So it is uh, very normal for us to conduct 90% of our business month after month and year after year sight unseen. However, keep in mind, our business, we are in the business of selling 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. They are not perfect. Um, they all have their flaws, uh, tendencies, deficiencies, weaknesses, uh, some of which we show you in these video presentations. And we also show you the positive aspects of the vehicles such as you know, this 1969 GTX being 100% uh, original sheet metal and mostly original paint and uh, interior headline and whatnot. But uh, I do encourage you guys to come put your hands on what you're looking to buy or what you might be interested in for yourselves. This way, when the vehicle arrives, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are zero surprises because you were here and you went over the vehicle yourself and you aren't just taking my word for it. Let's take this GTX outside. We'll throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage. I'll show you those outstanding floor pans. Uh, again, numbers matching motor. We'll have a photo of that on our website. And then we'll take it out and we'll do a test drive. Again, we have about 62, 63 cars right now in the building or in our inventory, I guess I should say. We're still in the process of getting them back to the building after our remodel. But uh, this is probably one of the top three in terms of uh, how it runs in our building. And we're gonna show you that in this video presentation in just a few moments. Underneath our 1969 GTX, you have drum brakes on all four corners. Take a look at the uh, engine block, uh, starter on the driver's side. Uh, oil pan looks nice and dry at this time. You can see the side of the blocks all nice and uh, dry there free, around the freeze plugs. <clears throat> Uh, we will have two things for you online. First of all, let me get past the exhaust manifold there. It looks to me like 82 of 68 is the date code. And there is your partial VIN, uh, numbers matching motor, which we will have a photo of online. VIN ends in 3369. Um, it is not the original tranny in the car. Uh, the partial VIN on the tranny is over here. 0588 is the last four. Um, as I mentioned, dual manifolds uh, go down to your uh, dual exhaust and uh, dual mufflers. Now, keep in mind, one thing we do uh, with our cars is we recon the undercarriages. You know, we paint them nice and neat to make them look pretty for photographs and video shoots. Um, this is how we got the car with the exception of the exhaust. We painted up the exhaust because the exhaust had some surface rust on it. but. Uh, the rest of the car is exactly how we uh, purchased it. So check out the floor pans. You can see that they're all one piece on the driver's side. All one piece on the passenger side. Transmission. Pan gasket looks to be good. I don't see any leaks. Uh, flywheel is covered. Speedo cable looks dry. I'm pointing out these areas on the transmission because these are usually your problem child's uh, tranny pan, speedo cable, and then your uh, tail shaft seal. If you got tranny fluid on the floor, those are the first three places to start. 
Uh, frame rails on the car, both front and rear look good. There's your uh, rear frame rails. They'll go up over the rear end and out through the back. We'll show you throughout the video presentation. I mentioned drums on all four wheels. Uh, the gas tank's in good shape. Uh, your floor there where the uh, back seat area is going to meet the trunk. Uh, check it out. No rust, no rot, no holes. Uh, again, take a look at the frame rails going up over the rear end, <clears throat> continuing out through the back of the car and to the uh, rear bumper. These springs look good, both sides, driver and passenger. Uh, drop downs on the rear quarters look good. You see, see that hole there? That's a factory hole. Uh, nothing in there. That's metal right there. And it's metal to metal up here. Uh, trunk pan looks good. Uh, same deal on the uh, passenger side, on, or I'm sorry, driver, same deal on the driver's side as on the passenger side. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, um, being that you're looking up into the light. But again, the uh, trunk looks good. No rust holes or rot holes in there. Good looking uh, 1969 GTX underneath. We're gonna drop it down on the ground and we're gonna take it out on a test drive. Uh, before we do that though, um, I wanna discuss to you, or with you rather, payment options. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cash if you're coming to see us in person. Uh, bank wire transfer is the most common form of payment simply because we do a lot of our deals sight unseen and also, you know, not too many people using paper anymore. You know, everything's electronic these days uh, with the uh, payment methods we're all using. Of course, we do still accept cashier's check from your bank. If you want to do a cashier's check, that'll work too. Let's talk about financing. Uh, if you are interested in financing this vehicle, the collector car lenders we work with will do a five to 10 year loan on our classic cars. Your approval is going to be based on price of the vehicle, credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, you know, all the things normal underwriters look for when they're looking at a car loan, home loan, uh, what have you. Uh, once you're approved, uh, you got to put 10% down of the purchase price. So if it's a $50,000 car, you're talking about putting five grand down. Uh, the collector car lenders can typically fund us within 48 hours if you're quick with your paperwork. Sometimes even 24 hours, but you have to be really, really fast with your paperwork. Uh, once we are funded in full, uh, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. We uh, check lug nut torque check tire pressure, check all your fluids, check all your lights, you know, go through the car one last time. They're old cars, anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any time. So we give it one last once over prior to it uh, leaving here for shipment. Once the vehicle is through inspection, we call a carrier for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically we can have a truck here within 48 hours. However, sometimes it may take, you know, three, four, five days depending on where you're located at in the United States or in the world. Uh, once the vehicle's picked up, it's en route to you. So once we're funded, it works quick. We go uh, through inspection, through detail, uh, the car gets dispatched, picked up, and it's on its way to you. And then delivery time, of course, is going to depend on where you're located at uh, in the United States, how many other vehicles are on board, uh, driver's sleep patterns, weather conditions, things of that nature. But I promise you, we know you're excited to get your car. We're excited to sell it to you. We will get you your vehicle just as quickly as we possibly can. Let's set the 69 GTX down on the ground. We'll take it out on a test drive into the Daytona Beach sunshine and we'll show you guys how the car runs out. Okay, inside of our 1969 GTX, we have a horn. Uh, alternator and fuel both work. Um, 91,749, if I had to guess, I would say that's the original miles, but I have no way to prove that to you. Title reads exempt. Temp gauge in the dash does not work. That's why there is an external temp gauge down below. We'll keep an eye on that through the test drive, along with our oil pressure. Um, turn signals. Driver's side. I don't know if you can see out there on the uh, driver's side uh, fender. The turn signal indicator in the top of the fender is functioning. Passenger side. And on the top of the fender out there is functioning. Wipers. All three speeds work, and when you turn them off, they park back like they should. Um, so I can't get the AM radio to work. 
but this eight track that I'll send with the car. Does work. So uh, that's pretty cool stuff. Um, okay, what else? Uh, crack at the top of the steering wheel here. Dash pad looks good. Uh, the clarity on your uh, speedo here looks good. It's not all cracked up, faded. Um, the uh, above the glove compartment area, the uh, wood grain stickers are in pretty decent condition. Um, there is the hole that I told you about in the showroom, in the headliner. Uh, sun visors are in pretty decent shape. Clarity out of the rear view is nice, clear. Uh, I do have your little fold down armrest here. This car runs absolutely fantastic. Um, we're going to take it on a test drive. I'm, I'm really shocked. Um, how well this car runs. It, it drives and rides like a brand new car, and we're going to show you that right now. This thing rides amazing. I drive a lot of cars, let me tell you. This thing drives, runs, rides fantastic. You let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight. The steering's nice and tight. Speedo's functioning. It's accurate and it doesn't bounce. Our temp gauge is coming up. We've only been running now for, I don't know, five or six minutes. Just under 190, I guess. Uh, the drum brakes work fantastic. It feels like it has four wheel disc brakes. I mean, it stops just like it should. No pulsations, vibrations, uh, no hard pulls in the brakes. I'll show you that right up here. Real, real nice, smooth ride. Uh, no vibrations out of the tires, motor, drivetrain of any kind. Coming up to a red light, I'm just going to hit the brakes here. Car stops just like it should. I mean, I guess I'm used to driving these, so maybe you got to put a little more force down. But man, I'm telling you, when you hit the brakes on this thing, the car stops. It's a big, heavy car, you know, and it doesn't, you don't have to uh, put a whole lot of leg power in it to, uh, get it to get it to stop. Tranny shifts fantastic. Look at that, 60. Let go of the wheel. Really super nice car. This car may be a survivor car, but let me tell you something. The drivetrain in this car is strong. The 440 has good pickup. There's no smoke coming out of the exhaust whatsoever. There's no backfiring. There's no uh, uh, rough idle in the uh, motor when you're sitting at a, a traffic light. There's no overheating. This is a really solid, really nice running riding car. Nineteen sixty nine Plymouth GTX, matching numbers four forty, original color, original uh, drivetrain combination, build sheet, black, solid, nice run. Look at that. Look at that stopping. Awesome. And see, now we're at idle car runs nice and quiet um, you know again the, the car's not uh, trying to starve for fuel it doesn't have uh, too much or too little air I mean it's it's running and riding and uh, idling absolutely fantastic nice car 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach if you're interested in our 69 GTX hangsters.com is our website We'll have close to 100 photos of this car up today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, our 69 GTX includes shipping on an enclosed carrier in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It covers engine, transmission, rear end, so major mechanical breakdowns of the drivetrain. 
does not cover a leaky oil pan, does not cover leaky valve covers, does not cover when a starter stops or when an alternator stops charging. Uh, simply major mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of this car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We can put you in touch with somebody that can facilitate the shipping for you. However, um, you know, you choose whether you want open or enclosed. You make the shipping arrangements. You pay the driver on delivery. Uh, our full price program is kind of a turnkey luxury type deal. You know, on the shipping, we make the shipping arrangements. We arrange the pickup. We pay the driver. We arrange the delivery. You get the uh, security of the warranty. At a negotiated price, of course, uh, the warranty comes off and then there's just a little more legwork for you to do on the uh, shipping portion. Of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona Beach, you want to come drive the 69 GTX home, you can do that as well. And uh, also, we've had many collectors with their own opener and closed trailers. They make it a little two or three day trip here to Daytona. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Uh, you can trailer the car home yourself. Real, real nice car, uh, real cool piece of history, a working eight track player, um, factory air car, real cool stuff. I'm interested to see how fast the car goes. It's a very unique car. You know, anytime you're selling a survivor type car, you know, it takes a uh, specific buyer or a specific collector, uh, somebody with something specifically in mind to do with the car, whether it's drive it, whether it's restore it to a, a complete rotisserie restoration, um, you know, whether it's just to add it to their Mopar collection as a piece of history, you know, to each is their own when it comes to, uh, you know, different buyers. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, sunny Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hanksters.com. Check out the 69 GTX and our entire uh, collection of collector car inventory.